Okay, so when removing the sump from a DCT, you can see here on the magnetic pickups, she's coated. So, got to give it a clean out. As well as in here. New filters, thoroughly flush it, flush it right through. Put the spare set of clutches in it, I guess. So we've stripped down the gearbox, the mighty seven speed, found the magnets inside. As you can see, they caped, so I'm going to go all through them, clean it all out. Everything else looks to be in pretty good nick, obviously, needs new filters. That filter there again. And then put back the the newer clutches because I haven't got brand new clutches unfortunately because I haven't got five grand. So here's the casing off of the mechatronics, which is the electronic side of the DCT removed. Um, I've been advised that I have to remove the computer out of it, which I'm not 100 percent sure on how to do yet. And then from there I can fully get to all the fork magnets which need to be cleaned with debris. Wish me luck, I'm going in. So I bared with it and stripped down the mechatronics out of the DCT. This is my first go, so I'll probably remove much, much too much. I don't think this computering side of it here needs to be removed from like the valve body side of it here. You can see all the solenoids all located at the bottom and the top there. This is obviously what does the switching per gear, moving the forks. <clears throat> if you look inside, you can see, just through that little window, one of the magnets, through that one there. If you can see it, another magnet there, the yellow bits. So that's what I've got to try to clean. <clears throat> Wish me luck. <clears throat> 